we're in the middle of a four generation time period. There are four generations of people in the workplace. There are four generations of advocates, folks who started out at Woodstock with half an idea, ended up with a job. And, 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 and I, I speak on behalf of 350 and just say that, you know, we're middle-aged at 10 years old because some groups started exactly two minutes ago and others have been around for over a hundred years. And we're in a moment where we're all pushing for the same thing at once. Energy needs wisdom and vice versa. And so we are in a time when the youth agenda is no different than the black agenda, than the indigenous agenda, because at the end of the day, we need to be in a space where we can move the needle for change because there is no separation of, um, of uh, success here. We're, we're in a time test as Bill McKibben likes to call it. And I assure you that at the end, when the buzzer is up, we'll all be in the same boat. So we might as well be running in the same direction. So for youth who are raising it, they are supported by middle-aged people who've been asking for it. And by the elderly who are, in my opinion, are frankly willing to sacrifice everything. I've seen more seasoned people running out in the street to get arrested and putting their bodies on the line than I have in the last 15 years. If you find me a room full of seniors, I probably got the most reckless bunch you've ever seen. So just wanna flag that it, this is a multi-age effort that really does take up the leadership of youth and follow where they are pushing. They want a planet that they can live on. They're very clear on what that looks like. They are not settling for the decisions that have been made for them about agreements they did not sign up for and debt they don't want to take up. 